Hi and welcome to another What's It For? In this lesson we're taking a look at the RGB input node and we can find that under the Add menu, under Input and RGB. And this node is really quite simple, it's a simple colour input node and we have the colour wheel that we can use to pick the various colours or we can come into the uh, colour wheel here um, where's the colour wheel? There should be a colour wheel. Let's uh, make it a bit smaller. There we go. And we have a colour wheel that we can use there and the RGB values from that we can adjust as we adjust them. You can see this white dot in the middle goes on to the colour that we're looking for. Close enough. Um, also it has a hue saturation value and if we watch this bar down at the bottom we can change the hue and the value and the various saturations to acquire the colour that we want as well. Also we use um, hex values and as you can see this is a six figure number and it's a combination of letters and numbers which defines the millions of colours that you can get within the software. Uh, it's popular with the uh, web design, other computer graphics. Uh, it's just handy if you know the uh, colour codes, which you can generally find online. And as you can see, as you move that around, the, the letters change to define the colour that we're looking for. In this case, this particular green is 60BB47. Okay, also we have the colour picker that we can use to, let's uh, grab this yellow, see? And we can match colours that way. So what's it useful for? Now basically it's a simple colour input and it can help you in controlling your colour mixes. If we look at this uh, node group that I have set up, you can see we have two mixed nodes with different colours and if, for example, we wanted to have these colours identical, we could pick the colour like this and they would be identical. But if we had lots of these mixed nodes and we wanted to keep the colours all the same, we would have to manually change each one. But we don't want to do that. Let's uh, just change this and we'll show you, for example, just compose that. As you can see we have a green texture and in the middle we have this uh, yellow texture at the moment and let's say we decided that we want both of them red so we can use our RGB node and simply plug it into the uh, factors. Let's make it red first. There's a nice red. We can simply plug it into the factor and as we do that you can see the middle has changed and plug it into that one and the outside uh, textures change colour accordingly and now because we have only a single input we can decide actually I don't like that I would prefer it to be blue and a little bit compositing and both of our textures have turned blue which is uh, very handy and it's one of those little simple jobs that can turn a chore into something really simple. And that is basically what the RGB is for. It's a simple little node. It's just a useful tool. Okay, so we're going to leave that and move on to the next one. So thank you very much and we'll see you in our next episode. And if you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe so that you can catch each episode as it comes along. And don't forget, drop us a comment and visit our social medias, of course. And also, if you wish, you can help support us on Patreon. And we will throw some free gifts your way. And also, we will hit you up with some live streams and answer your questions there, if you're willing. In the meantime, I will say goodbye and see you in the next video.